There's a flashlight right there on the cell door. Can you light it up? It was open. Yeah. Thank you. Move away, please. Thank you. Just take your energy out of it, please. Thank you. <laughs> flashlight. <laughs> flashlight turned on when you said homicide. Flashlight turned on. Can you try to turn it off, please? Oh, friend body. Thank you. Can you turn off the flashlight? On the count of three? Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. thank you. Wow. Hey, Ghost Riders, it's Exploring Harley. Where am I tonight? Well, I'm in another jail. <laughs> yes, another one. The second oldest jail in Canada, the jail in Lorignal, Ontario, Canada. So stick around and hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, please consider doing it and enjoy. Here's the history about this place. In 1823, discussions were held in order to build a court and a prison at Lorignal for the Ottawa district. Jacob Marston, a permanent local citizen, offered two acres of land to erect, to erect such a building. In 1825, a beautiful stone construction designed in the neo loyalist style was integrated. This building was added to a number of times, one being the West Wing in 1850 and another to the East Wing in 1862. The administrative offices of the United Counties of Prescott Russell were added in, in 1962. Even though the oldest prison in Ontario was decommissioned in 1998, the second story was taken over by the court topped by a distinctive orange roof and a remarkable dome or cupola. This unique building remained the most significant in Lorignal, which is now part of the township of Champlain. The importance of this heritage building reaches far beyond the territory of the United Counties of Prescott Russell. Indeed, this is the oldest judiciary building still in operation in Ontario and one of the few existing buildings used as government offices before the, enact the enactment of Municipal Act of 1849. This building stands as a witness to every step in the development of the regional government and the evolution of judiciary system in Ontario since 1825, thus spanning nearly two centuries. In addition to being the oldest building in the United Counties, this complex remained one of the most significant in Ontario, particularly in the Franco-Ontarian community. When this inst institution was closed, it was the only Francophone correctional centre in Ontario. Lorignal Prison, or Lorignal Prison, was recognised for the excellence of the educational, spiritual and health programme and services offered in French. In short, this place is a testament to a strong Francophone presence in Ontario. So, let's get at it and let's investigate this place. Interesting. So, um, yeah, I guess maybe if you want to give us like a Thank you. version of the... Uh... Yeah, no, we can definitely do a very fast history. So guys, this is the oldest jail in Ontario, 1825. It predates the Kingston Pen. Now, this is also the only Francophone jail in Ontario as well. So we had both the English and the French here. There are five executions that took place here. And these men died for 
you know, crimes ranging from axe murders to the rape and murder of children to murder for fraud. So there's quite a variety of criminals that died here, and three of them are in fact buried in the courtyard where the shadow man is seen. Most notorious is Petite Ruth, who was the governor's daughter who Control. died here, and she had dwarfism, and she stood about this high. And she's kind of considered the angel of the jail. And she's seen as a little shadow that kind of scurries around, and she likes to follow you around and listen and see what you're doing. And if you listen, you can hear her sing, or skip around the jail, or go up and down the stairs, because her residence was attached to the jail, as with most jails, the governor's residence um, was here, and they lived here. Um, the shadow man in the backyard is one you got to look for. It's been seen by inmates over a three-decade period. We had a court interpreter who we interviewed who you know, heard these stories from the inmates themselves, and big, big shadow around my size. And we caught a great EVP here of uh, a male voice singing, I am a shadow, after one of our guests at a paranormal event um, seen it. Yeah, so hmm. that's something definitely to look out for. Um, other than that, that's your three minute history. A nice. really old joke. Yeah, so. Got a lot going on here. Um, every other time that I've come here, we've always caught really, really good stuff and always something different, too. So hopefully we get lucky again and uh, also have a good time. Well, and they seem to like that ramp bot. Right? And <laughs> can you uh, make that thing go off once more for us? Maybe it's Ruth. But it's Ruth, is it you? Can you touch that red light, please? I think it's Petit Ruth. I think if it's anybody, it's the young man who took his life in that cell next to you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's He's true. the one that seems to like to interact. Oracle. With him. Yeah. Hmm. And, uh, Specifically in this block. Yeah, so when Eric and I were here, um, Eric was going inside and we said, you want him out? And it would start going. Then it would stop when he was out. And then when you go back in, it would start going again. Um, so I don't think he likes men inside of his cell. But then we had a woman go in and there was no issues with that at, at all. So mm -hmm. that was very interesting. So definitely sit inside there yeah. and see what you pick up on. Is it? Oh, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lock me in here or what? Do you want me to close? Huh? Want me to close the door? Maybe, um, hang on, let me grab something here. Would, uh, Just grab this thing. Thank you. Probably move the curtain. Now you can close it. <laughs> Thank you. Me. Move away, please. Thank you. You're not keeping the curtain? Huh? I don't know. He moved the curtain. Yeah. I can't protect you. I can't protect you. Did the other rem, my rem pod go off? Yes, I heard oh, it. Okay, yeah, that's in the other cell. It's in the other, which cell? In the cell, uh, Right here? Right next to that one, yeah. Oh, yeah, right here. Yeah. Was it you? Can you touch that red light again, please? Can you touch that red light right here in the cell? Just to show me that you're here. Oh, yeah, I didn't introduce myself. My name is Jeff. I'm a veteran, and yes, I'm French-Canadian. I'm Québécois. Let people know. Let people know. What do you want us to let people know? That I'm French-Canadian? Tabernac. Tabernac. <laughs> Colis. The grand new M. Le Pomplamousse. <laughs> <laughs> That's about as far as my French goes. <laughs> Je peux aller à la toilette? <laughs> my EMF reader here is still... Jenny. Jenny? Look at that, guys. And there's no electricity. Look at that. I'm getting some, like, weird... scan on this thingy. Let's turn this up. It's your... Super duper new. Uh, it's the Home Depot box. The Home Depot box. <laughs> it's the stud fender, the stud finder per, per it's, excellences. It's getting something. Like the, the line is changing. Like hmm. If there's nothing going on, it wouldn't show anything. That's weird. Yeah. 
No, it's kind of just whatever. But. Can you talk into the box near my friend? What was the guy's name? Francois? Yeah, I think so. Shelly. Shelly. Jenny and Shelly. Do you have a message for Jenny and Shelly? Flashlight just turned on. If you turned on that light, can you turn it off, please? Can you turn off the flashlight? That would, that would be much appreciated. Just take your energy out of it, please. Thank you. Oh, fuck. <laughs> flashlight just turned off on command. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, we're like pretty close to New York. This is secret. No, this is the east, not west. This is secret. What is secret? Slow this down. Any. 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 Counter. Counter. I just had two names, Shelly and Shelly and Jenny. I just had Phantom. Hmm. Homicide. Flashlight. <laughs> flashlight turned on when you said homicide. Flashlight turned on. I just said sad as well. Didn't the guy who he, he punched he, he he stabbed himself in the brain. But but what did he do? He didn't he. he homicide? Yeah, yeah, but he he killed himself in that cell. Wait, it is getting kind of late. My head. Murder. His head? He drove it just, a. It just said murder. And he, he drove a spike in his head. Edna gave us a name. Bishop. Ah, oh, what was the name of the guy again? I'm pretty sure his name was Francois. No, François Morancy, that's a, that's a comedian. Oh. And he came here for a, a television show. Who, what is that? Is, where's Elliot? On the left, right? Yeah, I think it, they went upstairs. Oh, okay. That's crazy. So is that, it just said statement. Was that your, part of your statement that you murdered someone? You committed homicide? I'm pretty sure that's what he was in here for. It's yeah. It's crazy how it gave me the, the answer twice. And Two different ways, homicide and Jimmy. Hmm. And it didn't. What? Do you have anything else to say? It said Jimmy, but nothing came out. Jimmy, but nothing came out. No. We, the word Jimmy came on, but. Oh, it didn't say anything? No word came out of the. That's weird. Of spirit you, talking. Uh, not like me in your cell? Do you want me to stay in here or do you want me to leave? You like the fact that my friend is in your cell? And that REM pod went quiet. Oh yeah, that's right. That thing was going crazy. That 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 thing was going haywire now. Nothing. Hmm. I've put a box right there on the shower. Can you go and touch it, please? The flashlight, thank you. Oh, so this has been going on and off? Yeah. Can you try to turn it off, please? Oh, REM pod. Thank you. Can you turn off the flashlight? On the count of three. Ooh. Thank you. Uh, oh, wow. oh, 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 thank you. Wow. Now, if the person who said they committed a murder, if that was them in this cell, can you turn this light back on? What was that? I heard like a click. Yeah, I heard that. Oh! I heard that. that was a musical box right there on the ground, my, my tablet. What did it do? The music you heard, that was it. What does that mean though? I don't know what that means. It, 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 I didn't saw which sensor it triggered. Yeah. Williams. But when it triggered like EMF pressure, gyroscope movement or compass, oh. you, you hear that music. 
Yeah, I heard it. Yeah. So probably if he, he, he went for a... Can you go for that box again, please? While we watch which of the sensor you, you touch? It said yes on your thing. Right yes, okay. Can you touch that box, please? Just to show us that you're with us. So that's why that went off, is because yeah. you touched it? Yeah. Oh, wow. So I have to ask, why does it say hero? <laughs> Because <laughs> it's kind of making you. I'm in the corner. I'm in the corner. Oh, wow. <laughs> and the, the ramp oh, okay. button goes off. Yeah, Thank okay. you. I got an idea. Let's, what if we turn this music box right there? In that direction. So if you're in the corner. Thank you, flashlight. Can you go for the box in the shower, please? It's just to show us that you're here with us. Flashlight's going off. Thank you. Okay, that's you. No. No. Oh no, you have to be really close. Oh, that wasn't you. You were back enough when it, when it went off. Can you walk in front of that device again, please? Can you walk in front of that light, please, again? You told us that you were in the corner. Flashlight. Yeah. I know it was him for murder, but he 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 killed. He kind of beat the uh, it's gal. Unpleasant here. It's, unpleasant. it's un unpleasant here. That's me. It is, it is a jail. So yes, it's not a. It would have been very unpleasant. Unfortunately, it's not a. A club med, it's not a vacation no, place. No. Can you move away and go? You notice that thing went good off. and evil here. Okay, so you notice that, like, <laughs> as soon as I pulled this thing wide open, it did that? Yep. What was the name of the guy again that stabbed no, him? What's that? Oh, you mean the guy with the skull? The, the guy who stabbed himself in the. Joseph Menard. Joseph Menard. Yeah. I didn't put that in your three minute history. That's fine. Um, but he murdered somebody or multiple people. Yeah, right? so Joseph Menard, he uh, yeah. oh. twice head off with an axe. Oh. And uh, he did it in front of his child. Yeah. And then he took the axe upon himself. Yeah. Big gash. That didn't work. Started stabbing himself in the neck. That didn't work. He recovered. They brought him here to await transfer to Rockwood Asylum. Um, oh yeah, before going to the asylum. He, before going to the asylum, but he still had a hole in his skull, so they didn't like put a plate on it. Yeah. Went to the window, managed to get a shard of metal, and inserted it into his brain upstairs. Oh. And he ended his life here. So Joseph Menard, is that you? Oh. Thank you. Here you go. Here's your answer. Electric shock. Electric shock. Do you want to give us electric shocks? interesting is at Rockwood Asylum, they would have done electric shock oh, therapy. Oh, electric shock therapy. So this was right around 19, early, early 20th century. So they would have Were you afraid of getting electric shock therapy? Oh. Maybe. Oh. Or maybe they wanted electric shock yeah. therapy. Yeah. Well, he was there prior to doing this. Flashlight. That's why he did that to his wife. Because oh. his co-workers and his wife put him in Rockwood because he was actually Yeah, he was here, act and then he yeah. got back out and he was pissed off about yeah. it. Joseph Menard, if it if it's you, can you go for that box in the shower, please? Just go near it, please. Do you remember Rockwood Asylum? Flashlight just turned off. I have friends who've been in there. They stayed overnight. And they may have heard somebody's footsteps coming towards them. 
Were you afraid of going into that asylum? Okay, let's see if this happens again. For some reason, when I open this door, that thing goes off. And now nothing. nothing. Joseph Menal, if it's you, can you go for that box in the in the shower, please? Walker. Walker. Also, ladies, I'd like to point out how sexy Jeff's accent is. <laughs> if you're interested. <laughs> <laughs> the sexy French accent. <laughs> <laughs> Very romantic. Hey, Pepe, you. Oui, oui. Yeah, we got murder and homicide on that. Yeah, and murder which twice. Which is interesting because like, I didn't even remember that. Can you, do you want to say something else? Let me switch this to alphabet mode. Well, I'm going to switch this to alphabet mode. You can choose letters if you want to spell something out instead. Joseph Menal, are you still here with us, please? It's very interesting. I that reminisce the here. Is quiet now. Yeah. I reminisce here. I reminisce here. What are you reminiscing about? Oh, flashlight just turned on. Joseph Menal, if it was you that opened up that flashlight, can you turn it off, please? Turn it off all the way. Come on. Nicola. Come on, Joseph. Thank you. Obviously. Nicola. Oh, of course, that's my grandfather's name. Oh, seriously? Yeah. <gasps> okay. Okay. Remember I told you that Joseph Menard, um, he hated Clamaca yet, and he did not want to be in the same chair. Oh, yeah. So maybe Clamaz are out right now, and that's why you're not getting the interaction anymore. Mm. Clamaca, yeah, are you here with us? Can you go for that red light on the ground? Or maybe make something else go off? Oh, that's something. Thank you. So, Clamaz, is that, is that you? Are you hungry? Is anybody here hungry? Want some food? Maybe some drinks? It's chow time. Anybody hungry? Would you like some cognac? <laughs> Joseph Menard, are you gone because Clement Goyette is here? Can you turn on the flashlight? If it's because Clément Goyet is here that you're gone? Well, it's a good start, I guess. Or Clément Goyet, can you turn on the flashlight? Like yeah. The yeah. yeah. So. Like in any jail, there's probably like a higher atmosphere. Madam. Like a madam. <laughs> so. Yeah, guys, we're going to switch places because the activity is good, but not that constant, so we'll move. Hey, guys, now I'm in death row. I had... Billy, don't trust the bad ones in Billy Lake. So I shouldn't trust the bad ones. I won't trust the bad ones, don't worry. I've put a light right there on your cell door. Can you go and touch it, please? It's called a flashlight. Can you go near it and touch it, please? Just to show me that you're here with me.
I've put a light on the bed in the, in the cell. Can you go and touch it? You were playing with it earlier, earlier on. Can you touch it again, please? My name is Jeff. Thank you. Wow. Can you go near it, please, again? A lot. A lot? I'm asking a lot? I'm sorry. Just to, it's just to show me that you're here with me. All right? Just want to communicate. That's all. I've put a box right there on your... That's me. I've put a box where usually you get your tray for your food. Can you go and touch it, please? It's going to play music. Can you touch it? Thank you. That's the red light. Can you come and touch the, the devices on the door cell? The flashlight or the other one? They've upset me. Who upset you? I hope it's not me that upset you. If it is, I'm really sorry. I don't want to upset you. I'm a friend. My name is Jeff. I'm a veteran. I was in the army. Sorry guys, if you have like weird sound. You're happy? Oh, wow. Can you touch one of my, my devices to show me that you're happy? Any devices? No? Why are you happy? Because I'm talking with you? Just want to understand. Don't be shy. Don't be afraid. My name is Jeff. I'm a veteran. I'm really a nice guy. Be careful in here. Yes, I will be careful. Don't worry. I am well protected. I have protection oil that my friend Chelsea made for me and I've put my protection oil on. So I'm well protected. Can you come and touch my devices please? Is that you that knocked? Can you knock again please? No? Okay. Cursed. What's cursed? Thank you. Wow. Thank you. What's cursed? Is it the jail? Goodbye. Oh. You just touch that red light. That's it. Can you go for the light right there or the box right there? No? Yeah, he's right there. It's 
really it's hot. <laughs> Look, there's a flashlight right here. If you touch it, it will light up. Probably it's not set right. Potentially. Potentially? Okay. Look, I'm gonna show you. There you go. So now you just have to turn it like that to turn it off, all right? So can you turn it off, please? I reminisce here. Yes, you told us that you rem you're reminisce downstairs as well. So can you turn off the flashlight, please? Just to show me that you're here with me. That would be much appreciated, please. Just take your energy out of it. Go ahead. Thank you. Wow. Can you try to touch the box right beside it? It's going to play a beautiful song. It gets lonely. Yeah, I know it gets lonely here. But I'm here to talk with you. Hope it helps. Thank you. True. So you like the fact that I'm here and talking with you? Do you like talking with me? I like talking with you. I have another light right here if you want to touch it. Thank you for the flashlight. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you. Now turn it off. Please. Want a, count a countdown? Okay. On three, two. <laughs> Thank you. Lights. Yes. Yes. That's a light. Yes, we have lights. And you have lights right there in the cell, on the bed. There's a red light right there. And yes, there's that light right there. <gasps> Thank you! Wow! Thank you so much! Have you seen? It's a beautiful song, right? If you touch it some more, it's going to play more. Don't be afraid. I'm really a nice person. I just want to establish a communication with you. Okay? Yeah, you like that little green light, right? It's called a K2. And the round thing with that red light on your bed, right there, that's called a REM pod. The round thing with the metal stick, it's called a REM pod. You got a tablet with a music box right here. And that long black thing right here is a flashlight. And that thing that you're touching right there on the cell door like I told you it's a key too thank you and on the ground there's what I call a music box another music box if you walk in front of it this one will make music this one right yeah there you go if you walk in front of this one on the ground, it's gonna play music as well. Freeze? You gonna make it cold? Yeah, go ahead, make it cold. Two lights. Yes, 
I have a light on my camera. There's a flashlight on the... On the yes, thank you. Wow. Thank you so much. Can you go for the black box for the tablet beside it? Wrong area. Do you want me to move? Can you tell me where, where you want me to go? Turn it off. Thank you. Edith. Do you have a message for Edith? You told me a wrong area. Do you want me to move? Do you want me to go elsewhere? Can you tell me in that box where you want me to go? Well, if you want me to move, I will move, but can I get something out of you, please? You said wrong area. Do you want me to switch my devices from, from the cell? Don't be afraid. Yes. I am sorry. But you did bad things. And that's why you unfortunately got hanged. You know, when you do bad things to people, well, Sometimes comes back to us. Can you go and touch that green light again? You were playing with it earlier on. Can you make it go all the way to red? Did you hear that? No. Can you do it again, please? Flashlight, thank you. Want to do a noise, please? Or touch one of my, my one of my devices. You will do music and sound. Can you turn off the flashlight and touch another device, please? All the way off. Thank you. Can you touch another device, please? No? K2. Can you touch it so it can go all the way to red? You were touching it just a second ago. No? Video. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I'm taking video because I want to record. I want to record you. I want to see you.
Well, if you don't touch like, like. Do you like me? Do you like because I'm I'm uh, I'm polite, I'm nice? If you like me, can you turn on the flashlight? Just to show me that you like me? No? Or you like my devices? If you like my devices, can you turn on the flashlight? <laughs> Thank you. So you like that one? If you like that one, the red light in the in the cell, can you turn on the flashlight? Please don't stop. No, it won't stop. Thank you. You see, it's not hard. You just have to touch those. Put your, put all your energy into it. You want to touch it again? Go ahead. Don't be afraid. Play with it. It's there for you. It's there for you to play with. Jones. Jones? Did you know somebody who was named Jones? Don't be afraid. I know you're probably not afraid, but don't be shy. I'm a friend. Okay. Yeah, please. Jasmine. You have a message for Jasmine or for Jasmine. You have a message for it, Jasmine. I can't. I can't. Thank you. Was Jasmine your sweetheart? Table. Table. Yes. There's a table right there. Thank you for the flashlight. You seem to be liking this light, right? I didn't want to die. Oh. Well, I'm sorry, but you know that you've, com you've committed a crime, so when you commit a crime, well, unfortunately, you have to pay for those crimes that you commit, you know? Yes, you know it, right? But if you didn't want to die, you shouldn't commit those crimes. Because when you commit crimes, well, unfortunately, back in your days, they would unfortunately kill you as well, <laughs> if I can put it like that. Are you remorseful of the things that you did? Can you play music? Well, if you touch that box, it's gonna play music. Just go near that box. Just, just come near that box right here. Or the one on the ground right there. If you come near that box, it's gonna play music. Can you come near that box and play music? Just put your energy in it. It's gonna play beautiful music. You 
wanted to, to hear some music. You want me to play some music, but I cannot play some music. Thank you. EMF is going. No, nothing. Are you affecting my device right here? If you're affecting this device, can you turn on the flashlight? Please? Just take the energy out of this, put it there. Outside. Yes, my friends are outside. Or do you want me to go outside? Do you want me to go outside? Or you want to go outside? That EMF reader is 4, it's going down to 0, it's going up to 5. It's weird because the K2 is doing nothing. You became quiet all of a sudden. Are you still with me? Can you turn on the flashlight if you're still with me? Please? I just want to know if you're still with me. Melissa. Do you have a message for Melissa? Well, if you don't talk or if you... If you're being quiet, I'm going to leave and I'm going to try out my devices in other places. Do you want me to move? Do you want me to go where the cradle is? Is that it? Do you want me where the cradle would you want me to go where the cradle is? Can you turn on the flashlight if you want me to go on the other side? Where the cradle is, sorry. Can you turn on the flashlight if you want me to go on the other side? Do you want me to go downstairs? Can you turn on the flashlight if you want me to go downstairs? The children are listening. Who is listening? Hey, <laughs> you oh, fuck! <laughs> you got me. <laughs> the children are listening. Children are listening. What are you listening to? Is it Petite Ruth? Well, she was just downstairs. Oh yeah. Yeah. It said a little girl is around you when I was downstairs. Oh. How are you feeling up here, John? Feeling good. My uh, battery completely died for some reason. Um, Your light was, battery? Yeah, the light battery on the camera. Wow. The thing went off. I was hearing weird noises and all sorts of cool shit. My flashlight went on and off a couple of times. Mm -hmm. The music box, this oh, one so went off. Yeah. Your REM pod is going off. Is oh, yeah. Is my REM pod. Going off at all before? No. Yeah, it was a little bit, but not. Thank you. Well, they like the REM pods up here. That's right. Yeah. And your music box is on the ground right there, but nothing. Who is it you're talking to? 1800s. 1800s. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The prison was built in 1825. And I had video. I had two lights. Just that light was open. The flashlight just tur I turned on at two lights. I had the word light. 
died a long time ago. Did you hear that? And I had, I didn't, I didn't want to die. So was this the cell that the person was hanging? Uh, was Narcisse Larocque one? was on this side. Oh, okay. I don't know what cell specifically that he was in, but I know he looked out that window and a scaffold was being built. Oh, oh. oh as we're talking about- Narcisse Larocque, is that you? Please. Move location, please. And he told me, uh, uh, change area a little bit earlier. It seems to do that. It's like it gives you the response, but it says it multiple times, which mm -hmm. makes it very accurate. Yeah. Um, we had homicide and murder on the other side, so. And I had move area and now move location, please. Um, if it picks up on EMF, you're going to see the pause glow red. Now, if something actually touches the bear and you have to physically touch the bear, it will say, oh, that tickles, or oh, I like holding hands with you, or oh, I like hugs, mm -hmm. to tell you that it's been physically moved. One, two, three, four. Something going on. Even when uh, Jeff first put the EMF, in there, the yeah, right, that was going off. The key two was going on, yeah. What about Elmo? You like Elmo? Just behind you guys. Do you know your alphabet? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. H I J K. Come on. Do you have your uh, spirit talker as well? Somewhere? Oh, yeah. Maybe we can use that. Oh. Thank you. I'm going to put a box right here. You can use it to. Is the thing look like it's moving a little bit more? The cradle? Yeah. Hmm. Was that you moving that? You do it again? Maybe a little harder? Just give it a nice big push? Like this cool thing here that you can use to... Can you touch my... <gasps> what the heck was that? That was my music box, my Wait, tablet. Where is it? It's right there oh. on the... Did you make it warm in here? Oh. Yeah. It is pretty warm in here all of a sudden. Yeah. You're affecting the temperature. So you, the last two cells... You've got was, to be careful. Okay. Again? That's like a warning. I know you told me that on the other side I have to be careful and I told you that I'm protected. My friend Chelsea did a protection oil for me. So this is where William LaRoque spent his last days. Do you have a favorite song? You saw that, right? Yeah. It just started moving again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Can you give a good had push? Stopped. Yeah. Can you give a good push to the to the cradle to the bassinet? There it is. Yeah. Yeah. Look, it's moving oh, anymore yeah. more now. Fudge. Yeah. Now it suddenly feels colder. Anybody else feeling that? A little bit. Right on my on my right side, I'm Which feeling. Is weird because I feel it on my you left side. It? So whatever it is, it's like. It's right in between us. us. Oh boy. <laughs> Is that you standing in between us? Are you standing between me and my friend Angelo? There's literally no reason why that thing should be moving. No, it's not. Is it just my eyes or is it rocking like a half inch? Like a it good it half is, yeah. It, it is. It looks like it went to one side and it's just staying there, right? Yeah. Is that what you mean? It just looks like it's like move and consistently. It, it is. Man? It literally is. Wow. Oh! 
Wow. Oh, wow. you look as astonished as we are. Yeah. That's cool. But it would be more wow if you could give a good push, that's me, yeah. to the cradle. Give it a good push. That's going to be a good wow. Look at it. Yeah. Every time we ask, it starts moving again. Put all your energy. Take energies from our batteries, from the batteries, from the equipment, and push on it. Thank you. You should try to find out who it is you're talking to. Who are we speaking with? Maybe you can respond on this thing that I'm pointing at. Do you want? Do you want to play a game? Can you touch the devices? Anyone, any device. Why don't you touch the little bear with the little green light? Probably never seen one of those back in the day, have you? And talking bears too. I don't want to know. <laughs> I'm very old. <laughs> no, go away. No, go away. Why do you want us to go away? We just want to communicate. We just want to talk. My camera is focusing on a person that's standing at about three feet tall, right in front of the bassinet. <laughs> if you want to. I don't know if you want to record that joke. Oh, oh shit, it just went away. It was literally right there. Oh my god. Petite Ruth. Is that you? Let me put that on a shot. It was focusing on a person that was like standing right there. Like right there. Roughly. I'm always conflicted whether it is Petite Ruth who likes this bassinet and pushes it. Yeah. Oh, cold spot. Oh, yeah. Cold spot. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, it's cold in here. It is. It's oh, suddenly, yeah. Right here. It's suddenly getting really yeah. cold in here. Right you know, there it's cold. Yeah. So the bear picked up on heat and now it's cold. Yeah. So if you're right here on my left, can you go and touch that light right there? Can you knock it over? Yeah. Oh, there it is again. It's focusing on you. Oh. Right. As soon as that as ramp, soon off, as the ramp yeah, ball went the off. The camera's focusing on a person. I like good stories. Please tell me one. Um, how about I tell you a little joke? Why did the chicken cross the road? Do you know? To get to Why? the other side. Well, that's one answer, but the other answer is... Answer on the spirit talker. Pot. Port. Port. To get to the port? <laughs> to get to the port? Yeah, I mean, the real answer is because. Because. <laughs> when the chicken crossed the road. Okay, this is, it's definitely, it, my camera definitely is picking something up because it keeps focusing on the exact same spot. So even if I, if I turn Oh, away, yeah, yeah, I got it. It would have to reset and focus yeah. on you. And then every time I turn back, it literally focuses on the exact same spot. There's 100%. There's focus. somebody right there. Because there's nothing else that it could possibly mistake as a person. That doesn't make any sense. Like, it's not even picking up on the Raggedy Ann as a person. It just thinks, like... A little bit like... my butt or something is, is a person somehow. My camera, what my camera was doing in Hinsdale, just focusing on that... What's your favorite story? ...single creepy doll. Yeah. I found a new picture that they have on the wall of Petite Ruth. Oh, yeah? Side profile. I've never oh, wow. seen her side profile before. That's wild. See the arms? Yeah. Oh, wow. Damn. It's amazing that they've, like, recovered these photos from somewhere. Oh, oh Petite, are you seeing your picture? We have your picture here. That was me? No, that wasn't you. No? I think, it, I think it was. Think no, so? it was his ass, yeah. 
I had to just pass and that's it. Oh, yeah. But that wasn't you. That wasn't me. It's amazing though that I pulled up Petit Ruth's yeah. photograph. Thank you, Petit Ruth. Show it again. Wow, thank you. I want to see your photo again. Hello. You want to see your photo again? See your mother and father in the picture as well? It's mommy and daddy. Look at the key too. Yeah. Is it going? Yep. Oh, shit. Hello, Petit Ruth. Buzzing, yes. It makes us a buzzing yeah, sound. Do you find fun? Do you find it amusing? Can you tell me what two plus two is? Well, the government wants us to think it's five, <laughs> but really it's four. Do you want to touch the ramp pod to show us how two plus two is? No? Yeah. Petite Ruth, if it, if it was you, thank you so much. That was really nice. Did you like the music on the box? Bob. Oh, watch the camera behind you. Is there anyone here with us? Anybody wish to communicate? What color is the white in my tummy? Green. Do you like... Is, it, is Ruth here with us? Inmates where? 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 What what do you mean where? Count with me. One, two, three, four. Tonight. Is there somebody in one of these cells apart from my friend Jeff? Prisoner here? Walker? That's weird because he's you know your alphabet? Twice. A, B, C, D. Who's Walker? Do you want to tell me your story? Hurry? Well, why do we need to hurry? You? You. You did? Can you make a noise for me? I did what? Are you speaking to Did you? Did I what? Can you give us a clear answer? Can you touch my tummy? 
Is there anything evil here? There's nothing much, that, not that much coming through. Again, was there anything evil here? Is there anything? I did. Were you? Is there anybody with us who was? Who was it? Here? Who was it? Remember? What do you remember? Do you want to see the picture again? Of you and your little brother? Is it? It is. It's a picture of you. Did you see it? When Elliot comes he back, do you want to show you a picture? Of Something, him? hurry. Hurry, I don't know what the deal is with the hurry. Do you want us to leave? Hiding. I feel like that's probably related to Ruth. Are you hiding? Why are you hiding? Do you want to hold my hand? Can you tell me what color my friend's hat is? Perfect. Thanks for making it warmer. Whoa, that's creepy. I heard I do. The voices are very faint, very far. Voices are very faint, very far. Can you come a little closer? What the heck was that? Oh, I think uh, Jeff's light is sitting on the table and it just flashed. Can you come closer to us and speak louder? Do you want to play a game? Can you tell us what you did to end up in here? Do you not want to speak to Jeff? How old are you? Do you want to speak to me instead? It's us. It's us. <coughs> There's nothing. Nothing at all. You don't want to say anything? Is it because you're all... Radio. this chair back. Okay, I think Elliot's going on. Okay, what the hell was that though? No. I say. I just heard something in that in that room over there. Wouldn't be me. No, I, I know. <laughs> I kind of figured. Do you want the picture? Sure. Let's try. 
try it out. Do you want the picture, Ruth? Also, something just pulled this chair like 10 seconds ago. People? Like I felt it like quickly go closer. <laughs> ready? Ready. They're ready. She's ready to see the picture. Is that what you want? You want to see your picture again? Oh, the EMF meter is going off. What's your favorite toy? Whoa. Look! Yeah. <laughs> okay. Pulling up the picture. Yeah. Lies. That's really interesting. Like. <laughs> the T Ruth, you want to see your family? Couldn't make it. I couldn't make it? I guess it means couldn't make it out. Okay, we're showing you the picture again. Now can you talk to us a little bit more? You miss your family, Ruth? We are. We're still here. We are. What's your favorite story? Oh, and the gate two is flying. Yeah, I know. That actually went off first before the red pot even went off. I could see it from that. Were you friends with any of the inmates in here? Did you used to talk to them? What the hell was that? Then I have his music box thing, which is behind my camera. What's your favorite color? Radio again? Yeah. What did you say? What was it, radio? Yeah, it's like the second time you said that. Do you want to say something on the radio to Jeff? Maybe something specific about your picture? Since you seem to really like the picture. Jeff's a single one, isn't he? Yeah, that's true. Did you make... Come here. Come here. Did you make a lot of friends in here? Something B. Something B. Ruth, are you trying to get us over to your bedrooms? To your house? I'm going to put your family picture away now. So you do want us to come over there? Make it go to yellow if you want us to come there. Touch the picture again. You. Funny. You. Okay. Is it when I touch the picture? Rich. Yeah. Rich. Do you want to talk to me instead? Let me out. Let you out of where? Where are you exactly? Shall I make noise? Yes. In heaven? Let me out in heaven? Are you trapped here? Do you want to go to heaven? You know you can leave at any time. You don't have to stay here if you're stuck. Outside? Huh. You want to go outside? Is that what you want to do? Maybe the shadow man wants you out there. Oh boy. Is it the shadow man? Is he calling us outside? Let me out again. Is the shadow man an evil entity? Out. 
Crime. That's pretty accurate. Do you have more friends we can play with? I'm ready. Ready for what? A lot. I'm ready for a lot. Ooh, wow. Okay, well. Seems like the picture's away and the rem pod stuff. Yeah. Do you like to play pretend? Ooh, always. <laughs> There's barely stuff coming in. Some of it was relatively accurate. So Elliot came up and he started um, pulling up the picture. The REM pod started going crazy. Oh yeah. And then, then the uh, the replies were actually a little bit more accurate. accurate yeah. The thing about the jail cells is that they act as Faraday cages. They what? That Faraday cage. Mm. So oh, they block right. signals for radio stations yeah. and stuff. Yeah. So you really just hear it's static. Be hard, yeah. But it, the static, but stuff that was coming in, it was coming in clear. clear? Oh yeah. You could hear the, the 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 grain of the voice. It was a man and a and a lady and a girl. It was so coming you, through. You, you know, right now you're in William the Rock cell. Yeah, I know. That's why I wanted to go there. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Who are we talking to? Me. Who is you? Is it Petite Ruth? I protect this place. You've been standing there this whole time. Yeah. That was really weird. For some reason, with my eyes closed, I thought somebody was going back oh, yeah? to the fourth place. Can you put that place on you? Sure. Thanks. Empty. Empty? What is empty? Is it the cell that is empty because I got out? I. Yes, you. Can you make dare a dare? Disagree. Flashlight's acting all weird. Just to turn it on and off. Can you turn on the flashlight? It's really weird. I hear like this beeping, and huh. it's consistent, and it it almost sounds like a heart rate monitor. It's really weird. Oh. Are you connected to a heart monitor? Leave. Next. Mm, yes, we will leave after. But Can all the offenders move away from Angelo and let Petite Ruth go up to him? Petite Ruth. Petite Ruth. Can you go to my friend Angelo and talk to him? Can you tell him that you're here? I could hear someone humming and it's only on my left. Ruth that girl. About it. Yeah, that girl. So on the live they were talking about humming their hearing up here. Oh yeah. And Petite Ruth is known to hum and that's how she's experienced here and we've got it on audio. So it's very interesting that we're telling Petite Ruth to go up to Angelo and he's saying he's hearing humming in one ear. Yeah. Petite Ruth. Gertrude. Petite Ruth, can you sing to Angelo? Mine. Flashlight's going again. Yours what? Do you know what time it is? Is it time to talk with my friend? Petite Ruth, is it you? If it's you, can you turn off the flashlight? All the way. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Can you go talk to mine? My... Yeah. Can you talk to my friend Angelo? Can you say hello? Ruth, can you, you tell Angelo 
something that you enjoyed to do in life. Did I scare you? No. That chime is still going and it's driving me crazy. Wow. <coughs> is it you that he's playing music in Angelo's ears? One more thing. What thing? One more qu question? Can you tickle the teddy bear? Can you give the teddy bear a hug? Girl. Yes. Remember me? Yes, Ruth. Hello, Ruth. We remember you. Can you tickle the bear? Anyone. Not anyone, Ruth. I kind of want you to tickle the bear. Yeah. Give the bear a hug. These dolls here are for you. We bring them here for you so you can play with them. Do you want to play a game? You ran. Who ran? Not me. I know that my friend... Dead. Is. You're dead? Yes. And we're sorry. Would you like me to visit your grave one day? Buried alive. I would. How old are you? I would really doubt if you were buried alive. What's your name if you were buried alive? I mean, it's something that's probable. It could happen. You're unconscious from strangulation. They tried. Can you tell us your name if you... They tried to hang you. Buried alive. Yes, over here. What did I say? Yes, over here. Who are we talking to? Can you tell us your name, please? Is this Frederick Mann? I like music. What Look. Music like? Look where? Give where? me a direction. Tell us where. Where do you want us to look? Where do you want us to look? Impound or impossible or something like that. Devil? Ugh. Are you t are you think thinking that we are devils because like the way that we are dressed and the tools that you, you were using? It's just that we are living in another time. Beautiful. What is beautiful? Come here. Yeah. What's your favorite toy? Can you tell my friend Angelo what is hurts? Your Get very close to Angelo and touch him on a part of his body. There's like a little girl crying. Don't you guys scare Ruth away. Don't scare Ruth. Can you go and touch Angelo? Touch his hand or his shoulder. Touch his hair. Let us know that What's you're your really here. Story? I hear a little girl in the background. T. Ruth, get closer to Angelo. Don't be afraid of him. He's really nice. Don't let anyone push you out. What's your favorite color? Go and sing pretty songs into Angelo's ears. You. Who, me? Ginger. Hmm. Did you know somebody that was Ginger? 
was a member of your family gender? Can you tell me what two plus two is? We are two still here. Yes, and go talk to my friend Angelo. Go speak into his ears. Hallway. You're in the hallway? Yeah, I'm standing beside the hallway and I'm, I'm hearing voices. Vacant. Hmm. Cell. Are you in the cell? Adam? Can you Where's, talk? Where's Kev going? Oh. Fucker. Can you come and talk into the device I have right here? Can you hear me? Oh. EMF. And? Did he hear Agony. And was it you that played with that music? It played beautiful music? Can you go and touch it again, please? And why don't you go up to Angelo and speak to him? God, that noise is driving me crazy. Oh, yeah? How was that? Why are you here? <laughs> Why are you here? Because we want to investigate. We want to know if there's life after death. And... Uh, How were the responses? Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, but it's like yeah, Petite Ruth wanted to come through, but there were like others that were keeping her yeah. of talking. Yeah, it was like there was a... A few times there was an older woman and then there was one that was like obviously a child it sounded childlike anyways and but they were both very hard to hear and the older woman could be Anne are, are you able to kind of mimic the humming you heard the humming that I heard yeah you were hu you it, it, you're hearing humming on one side yeah it was weird it was only coming through on one side but it was like I don't know Kind of hard to make out over all the noise, but I know I heard humming for sure. Like a male humming or female humming? I, was, I think it was female, yeah. Petite Ruth, was it you that was humming into Angela's ears? Flashlight's going to go. <laughs> Rampod. Is the humming, is the humming like a common thing or? Petite. So on the live they were saying that they've been hearing humming up here when no one was here. Oh yeah? Okay. And Ruth is known for Open. her humming here as one of the anomalies. Ah, okay. And I have a really good audio clip of it where yeah. she's like humming a song. Um, so it's a very common experience here yeah. is the humming. But I would say it wasn't, it wasn't like really high, but kind of like in the middle. Yeah. Like a medium kind of tone. Yeah, it wasn't like super, super high pitched like okay. when I captured it. Yeah. Um, Thank you. That sounds about right to me then. One, two, three, hmm. four. What, your uh, thingy? Thank you. They blamed me. Who blamed you? Well, I don't know if your camera was recording because the screen's down. Or did you put the screen down on your camera? Are you talking to me? Yeah. Yeah, it was recording. Okay. Hey, and mine, this one's oh. recording? This one was recording. Yeah, yeah you're recording. Yeah. Okay. Well. Well, I'm gonna wrap up and uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna see you downstairs for the wrap up. See you. Hey guys, this concludes a great investigation. It was some sort kind of calm. We had some uh, a couple of interaction. That was interesting. Thanks again to Elliot and the fan of, of your of giving me the opportunity to investigate this great place. And once again, guys, smash that like button. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. It's free and it helps me, all right? <laughs> Until then, guys, I'll catch you on the next paranormal adventure. See you guys.